Well, Sean, you've been asked back for season two with the Sydney Thunder. How do you how do you see that? Oh, obviously, I'm pretty happy to be back at the Sydney Thunder. You know, nice and local to me out at Western Sydney. But um, you know, just I'm pretty happy that you guys have shown um, the confidence in me to ask me back for after my efforts from last year. And looking forward to getting stuck in this year. Season one of the Big Bash. How did you view? Had you, what's your report card like for yourself? How did you see your performance? Um, I thought I went fairly well. I mean, there's always room for improvements, and I thought I could have gone better here and there, and probably done a few things differently. But I'm I'm fairly happy with the way I performed. And there was a lot of ups and downs through the season. I mean, we had a big win the first game. You know, all the had uh, a, a fair few people down at MCG watching us defeat the Stars, and we had Davies score 100. I mean, it do, doesn't really get much better than that. But then, obviously, the lows of losing the next the rest of the games, and obviously finishing last on the ladder was pretty disappointing. But yeah, I'm, I'm really, really looking forward to turning around that around this year. Sean, the Thunder had to rebuild their side from last year. Obviously, we had a really disappointing season, and it didn't work out the way we all wanted. But you've had a good look now at the Thunder squad that's playing in season two. The guys you're going to be playing with. What are your thoughts? Do you think it looks stronger? I definitely think we look, we look like we've got a stronger team, and um, I think we've got a bit more, a bit more variety with players. I mean, we've got guys that coming in from interstate that bat and bowl and we've got more opportunities. We've got uh, Chris Gowish, I hit a Freedy and we're looking forward to playing with guys like that and um, especially Dirk Nannis who's been around for a long time and played for Australia and we're looking forward to um, getting in his ear a bit and seeing what he has to offer. Of course the name that probably everybody was excited about coming back to the Sydney Thunder was Chris Gale. You played with him last year, you obviously would have learned a lot from him but the magnetism of Chris Gale, were you excited when you heard he was coming back? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I, last year I couldn't couldn't wait to, to meet the guy and you know, I had the chance to bat with him last year, which was an amazing experience and he, he's got so much to offer. He's either making you laugh or he's being real serious and he's got really good cricket advice, so I can't wait to have him back. And of course, to make it even better for the Thunder, we've picked up arguably one of the most popular players in international cricket, Sheeta Freedy. Yeah, he's another bloke I can't wait to meet him. He's got so much experience and he's a bit of a firework on and off the field. So I can't, there's another bloke I can't wait to get in his ear and see what he has to offer.